Today, Kevin and I are gonna be trying the Patty's Good Life Sweet Potato Crisp. This is a Patty LaBelle product. It was in here, and <laughs> it's sitting in front of us. You can't see it at all. Um, there we go, Kevin pulled it forward. Um, I, t I took it out of the box and I went ahead and baked it because I figured I would try it all in one take. Uh, this was $6.92 at Walmart. It is sweet potatoes with a brown sugar butter crumble topping. Uh, you can uh, put it in the microwave if you want to. I chose to put it in the oven because I feel like it's, I, I feel like if you have the time, the oven is the way to go. Uh, so, but if you only have a microwave, you can do that too. What you do if you want to uh, bake it in the oven is you preheat your oven to 350 degrees you remove it from this box which is what I did and you paste it uh, place it on a um, a baking sheet uh, in the middle rack for 10 to 12 minutes I left mine in for the entire 12 minutes or um, 10 to 12 minutes or until warm microwave oven it says scoop crisp serving into a microwave safe dish or bowl because you can't Put it in the microwave in this uh the dish. microwave directions are more like a single serving right uh, microwave on high for 45 seconds to one minute let stand for one minute in microwave oven use pot holders to remove dish from oven and where did you you said you read oh okay it says uh, crisp can be consumed without heating so it's at room temperature right when you buy these at walmart at least in our walmart they're on a table so they are at walmart's room temperature which i think is cold <laughs> it's like a um, yeah it's always called to me um but then you if you bring it home you can uh eat it straight from the package that's not a problem it says for an extra special treat add ice cream of course one eighth of the crisp, 102 grams, which I wonder how much this is. We'll never know because uh, we would have had to have weighed, the, weighed the it before we put it in the ball. But uh, one eighth of the crisp is 290 calories. I think I got actually less than an eighth because if you divide this in half and divide it into fourths and then half of that, it's probably right about this, the right serving. Right. Well, Pretty close. Okay, it has no artificial flavors or colors, no high fructose corn syrup, no partially hydrogenated oil. So, well, I can uh, tell you from scooping it out, it doesn't look like it, it's not much of there's not much crisp on it, it's all very soft on the top. It, uh, yeah, um, I hoped that it would oh, I, when you have like an apple crisp, you hope to get actual crispy pieces mm -hmm. over the top, and this looks like it's mushy in the yeah. middle. So, do you want to pause here and take a picture? Oh no, we can wait. I'll wait till we're finished and, and you can put it in a bowl. Okay. Yeah, yeah, you're we're fine. Okay, so I'm gonna try a piece on the edge first because I think the edge is the drier pieces. Oh, you think that's gonna be the crisp? Yeah, well, it's drier. I, I mean, don't know that's if it's crispy, but it may be firmer than the rest of it. And one of the first ingredients is sweet potato puree. Those um, oats are chewy. Mm -hmm. It's got chewy instead of crispy. Yeah, they're not well. crisp. It's got a really good flavor to it. It I does like have that a good spice flavor. flavor. It's got like a cinnamon. It does have cinnamon, yeah. A cinnamon spice flavor, almost like a pumpkin pie. Yes. Um, there's no crust. It's mm -hmm. literally just the stuff in the bottom mm -hmm. and they put liquidy stuff on top and then the oats. Mm -hmm. There is no crisp and I'm kind of disappointed in that. The flavor's terrific. Mm -hmm. I love the flavor of it. The brown sugar, yeah. Yes, it's awesome. This is, I know a lot of people uh, serve sweet potatoes as a, a side dish. For me, this is more of a dessert. Mm -hmm. um, and I mean, it's on a table with desserts. Uh, this is um, very, very sweet. Uh, this is a very indulgent dessert. Mm -hmm. uh, but as far as it being crisp, they failed at the crisp part because there's nothing crisp about this. No, I'm thinking the only thing that you could do to make it crisp is if you turn the broiler on. Oh, okay. You you went a different way. Okay. You could take the broiler and like... 
I'm going to be honest with you. I don't think that middle top. part, and I'll take a picture of it. I don't think, it's very well. um, yeah, I wish you all could see it. I don't think this middle part right here is ever going to get crisp because there's so much of that brown sugar and spice mixture. I don't think it's ever going to get dry enough to get crisp. Yeah. I was going to go the other way and say that if they put a packet yeah, um, in yeah, here. Yeah, definitely separate. They yeah, would definitely do it. If, yeah, and, and that wouldn't be an extra step for you. Um, however, they could put the, they could have the baked potato, they could okay. have the sweet potato, they could have that brown sugar cinnamon mixture on it, and, and then tell you like, maybe in the last two minutes of baking, add your crumble to the top and yeah. it'll be crispy. Oh, I agree. I was saying, as it is, what could you do to make it crispy? Right, you might be able to throw, turn the broiler on and maybe caramelize a little bit of that on top. Even the edges, I took a bite off just, I pulled a piece off just the edge. And it's chewy. And it's still, well, it's not chewy, but it's still, it's still very, very um, soft. Get a spoon and take oh, a bite. Oh yeah, I feel it with my finger. Mm -hmm. That There's nothing, literally, there's nothing crispy about mm, that. It's drier. But it's not crisper. No. But I love the flavor. The flavor's good. And I even actually I like the texture of it. It's just if you're expecting something crispy, there's no crisp. Right, right. I agree. Mm -hmm. So really good flavor, but not crisp. So I hope you all enjoyed the video and thanks for watching.